everybody, it's Cara here and I am so, so mad. I've come to you today on a beautiful sunny day. So um, I quite like this because it, look like, it looks like my um, sewing machine is lit up like a halo in the sunshine. Um, I feel that way about my sewing machine, I'm sure you do too. So it's, it's really, um, <laughs> I can put this down. Um, it's really nice, it's sort of a, you know, sort of glowing, um, which is great fun. So today I have an, um, another new discovery. Um, I, I love how um, over on Instagram and sometimes on YouTube, you come across things that you never heard before. And uh, I heard about uh, this company that I want to share with you, Itokri, um, through an Instagram story. Um, now in the details below, I'll link the names of the, um, the people that uh, also have been posting about this um, amazing discovery um, and essentially we're ordering fabric direct from India um, and it's you know, Indian cottons um, but the website itself is a treasure trove of just wonderful things and I barely scratched the surface um, and a little bit like with my, my La Cala um, patterns experience I was quite cautious um, I didn't spend very much money, um, hardly anything actually, which I'll explain in a, a, a little while. But yeah, on the website there's jewellery, there's um, things for the house, there's, um, I think there's linens, um, but obviously it was fabric that drew me to the, um, to the site. But I think they also sell saris and um, other wonderful Indian um, items of clothing. Just, oh, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I travelled to India um, when I was 21. Um, I went around the world and um, my now husband um, actually met me in Sri Lanka and we travelled across Sri Lanka together and then we um, went to, um, flew into Madras and then we went across country to Goa. Um, we had the most fabulous time. So to come across a company that I can buy direct from India um, is just yeah it's really lovely so i'm going to put a bit of footage in um next that shows you the unboxing experience um because you can hear the surprise in my voice i ordered i'm going to say about 12 meters in various increments as you'll see and when the box arrived i was like that can't be right that cannot be right and then it was really light so I can't hide the surprise in my voice because I was very surprised and I'm, if I'm honest, probably a little bit sceptical. Um, I'm not that sort of person but it just seemed like it was too good to be true. So um, let me put the footage in now and then I'll come back to you in a second. Okay, evening everybody. I thought I would open this in front of you. I have absolutely no idea how this is going to go. This is a parcel from Itokri um, in India. Now allegedly in this tiny parcel that weighs practically nothing, there is 12 meters of fabric. So let's crack it open and see whether, um, whether this is the case or not. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a bit of a review on uh, this fabric company as it popped up on my Instagram feed. Oh, following a recommendation from someone else. I genuinely can't believe that there is that much fabric packed into here, but we'll give it a go. We'll see. It is typically wrapped in Indian sort of style, which I love. Look at the paper, it's all like Indian writing on it and everything. Wow. Look. You can just imagine the circumstances in which that's been packed in. Wow, here we go, look. Okay, so that's lovely. Recycled packaging, it says on here. You can catch that in the light. Um, Itokri, crafts design. It's incredibly well packaged. You cannot fault them for that. Um, and I'll explain in the review um, the details of the packaging and stuff. So, it's a beautiful box. You can just, that's so lovely. That's all made of Indian newspapers, basically. What a wonderful thing. Okay, so inside, well here we go, so inside you've got a little, you can hear my dog barking in the, or talking in the background here. Look at that lovely box, look, it's all like handcrafted and made from recycled materials, how lovely. Right, here we go, what have I got? 
No idea what this is. Okay. Look at this, look at this little face. Literally, it's a scrap of paper. Dear Cara, thank you for visiting on our, uh, our little... Not sure what that says. We are really excited to have you with us. Here is a little gift for you for your first purchase. Hope you like it. We would love to hear from you again and hope some feedback with love and support. Lots of love. I'm not sure what name that is. It looks like Sid, but it isn't, isn't Sid. Look, lovely handwritten. I'm not actually sure what these are. Don't know. I'll maybe come back. Maybe come back to this, but I don't, I don't know what they are. <laughs> oh, this is on a postcard. I, don't, I still don't know what they are. I will have a look at that in more detail, if anyone actually knows what that is. They're very pretty handcrafted something or others, but I don't know what they are. So, okay, so that's, uh, so that's got two metres of fabric. I can't... It is amazing. There is, it looks to me like there is what they said in here. I don't actually remember ordering that piece of fabric, but it's a um, very beautiful sort of cotton. I'll get these out in a little more detail in the review itself. Got a lovely grey sort of muslin cloth here as well. Yeah, there is all in here. I can't believe it. There's uh, two metres here. So let's open one up, shall we? As, I, as an example. Oh, I see. Okay. So, Okay, so this is a, it says there's a, a meter here, I think. I don't know if you can see this all right. But it is lovely, really lovely, um, lightweight cotton. Um, just such a beautiful colour, actually. It's coming up more grey in the picture, but it's a, a light, light green. It's, um, it's quite narrow. Um, but yeah, it looks, like, looks to me like there is a meter there, um, which is... Quite exciting. But yeah, I just thought I'd give you the sort of the, the overview. Um, yeah, it's a nice dark grey cotton there. And then, oh, I see. Okay, I understand what's happened here. So I've ordered three metres and it's come in pre cut lengths, I think. That's what's happening. So this is going to be three metres and then, yeah. Okay, so there's a metre there and then two and a half meters there so that could be interesting if you if you needed to have it all in one length but look at the colors in that though that is glorious look that's just lovely okay interesting and then the last one again three meters this one looks like it might be a three meter length love the color of this and it is really soft oh that's amazing so well, that is a really beautiful piece of fabric. Yeah, that's that's lovely, and that's a little bit wider, but it still um, looks to me like it's a one, one meter fifteen sort of width. So I thought you'd enjoy that. That's for me. That's um, it's quite an interesting experience. I'm curious to see what these are and understand what these are, but I'll I'll um. Maybe they're just literally ornaments, I'm not sure. But anyway, I will, um, I'll open these up a little bit more once I've got my head around what I've got and I will um, share with you some more details in a moment. Okay, here I am back again. So I've lowered the camera a little bit because I want to be able to show you the fabrics in a little bit more detail. But I just, yeah, I love it. Um, it all came so beautifully packaged, um, so as you saw in the clip, every, every piece of fabric came in a um, sort of a, a plastic bag, if you like. But actually what I absolutely loved, um, it's just so how authentic it is, is the, um, the newspaper that the, the package came wrapped in. Um, just, I don't know if there's a date on here or anything, um, but I just... Uh, and that's just there's a clip from 2019 on there. I just, I love the authenticity of it. My favourite thing, however, is the box itself. So you got the itokery on there. I hope I'm saying that right. But this genuinely looks like it's been crafted sort of, um, you know, paper mache style um, out, of, um, out of newspapers, which I just think is magical. Um, 
I have no idea what I'm going to do with this box, but I feel like it should stay in my life for a little longer. Um, and it does actually say here, uh, which I think is really sweet, um, recycled packaging, we love nature, we love you. Um, and all the way through um, their uh, personality, I think is the best word I'm going to come up with, shines through. Um, so, because I, I placed the order, and I will come on to show you in fabrics in a moment, I placed the order, um, loved looking through the website, then I clicked, um, there was two options for delivery, one was a thousand rupees and one was four thousand rupees, and it's all done in, in, in rupees, and I haven't even occurred to me to look at the exchange rate. So I'm, I, I put um, express delivery, I think, which is four thousand rupees, not knowing what the exchange rate was on that. Um, and I had selected probably about thirty pounds of fabric. Um, now remember that um, I've got about twelve meters. So that's really good value, um, and it's coming from India. And I, I, you, what happens then is you get sort of a a PayPal invoice to tell you what you spent, and it came up to sort of seventy pounds. I was thinking, what? I didn't spend that much money haven't even got that much money so I was like oh something's gone wrong there and then I realized that um, 4,000 rupees is about 40 pounds so it turns out I'd spent more on the delivery than I had on the fabric that makes no sense to me at all so I then emailed um, Itokri and said could you please change the delivery to the 1,000 rupees um, and that was a slightly longer delivery time I wasn't worried about that at all um, and so £10 to come from India I think that's really really good value um, and, uh, and and if I'm honest um, because I always want to be that's when the problem started and it's only a small thing but if I hadn't been so interactive and so conscious of my awareness of a new company if you like then I'm not sure what would have happened because I started getting emails and it is lovely I'm, I'm not criticizing them at all they started emailing me calling me a different name now my name's Cara um, and they were emailing me saying dear Car Carol now that's not too far different if I'm honest but I thought mm, that seems strange and I noticed that the order number had changed I thought oh well no maybe the order number changed when I changed the delivery um, uh, delivery amount so I let it roll on and then I got a really efficient email from DHL saying me um, telling me uh, I could track my parcel and I'm thinking I'm not sure something doesn't stack up here um, and, and I so I emailed them back and said look just I just want to make you aware there's two different delivery um, options on here and then I got an email saying I hadn't paid and I had paid immediately via PayPal so I said okay so there's two delivery numbers here is you're now telling me I haven't paid. Here's the, and I screenshotted um, my PayPal paid and I also screenshotted an element of my bank to show that it had gone out. And then I get an email saying, ah, oh, our mistake, um, we've sent you um, the wrong invoice. So I was like, okay, no problem. Can you still pay the other invoice? I'm like, mm, no, refund me the one I've paid for and then I will send you um, the difference or, or repay. Um, and this, it didn't go on for a huge amount of time and I did have, um, there were, and I know, a, a, I suppose a reasonable amount of delay between responses. Um, overall the experience isn't a bad one by the way, but I just wanted to share with you the small foibles that happened there because there were different people emailing me every time and I just, that was really frustrating. Um, I mean, obviously, other companies deal with lots of other people, but it didn't seem like there was any consistency in that. In the end, um, they they basically, uh, I, I had paid someone else's bill and they allowed me to um, keep that person's, uh, so they, they didn't refund me, they basically used the money I'd paid for someone else's bill, which was a good compromise actually, because um, it was slightly less, um, but for the inconvenience and everything, I think all of us felt that that was um, only a tiny bit less by the way but it, for the inconvenience they felt it was the, the right thing to do 
and then the, the products arrive fairly shortly afterwards. The whole process probably took um, maybe seven to ten days, so please don't overthink what I've said to you there. I'd just like to share with you um, my experience of what happens. It's not everybody's experience. But I will say throughout, their wonderful kind nature has just shone through. Um, there's a real personality that goes with the emails, their slight quirkiness of what they type uh, and write. I, I loved it, so it's not a negative thing, okay? So the thing you're all waiting for, what did I buy? So you've seen a sneak peek of it in the, in the footage. Um, I, I can't tell you how lovely these are. Um, oh, they are authentic fabrics, I will say. Um, but this is just lovely. So I've got two metres, uh, actually I've got three metres of this one. Um, and this is a beautiful, it's coming up sort of brown on there, but it's actually kind of a deep grey. Um, and I actually wanted to buy more fabrics for my husband. Um, I'll pop a link to the Sew Something Different that I did a few, um, a few well, about a month or so ago now. Um, and it was, I, you guys really liked um, you know, seeing something different and I want to sew for my husband more regularly. Um, and when I won the prize recently from Lisa at, at, and so on, I won a, pri a, a PDF for Makerist patterns and I've chosen a men's Nauru um, style Indian shirt. I'll, I'll pop a picture somewhere here of it. And I just thought this sort of fabric um, in these sort of colours would be perfect for that. It's so soft. I've washed these, um, uh, which you know, uh, and they've come up brilliantly. Some of the fabrics actually are pre-shrunk, um, which is quite an interesting concept. I'd always, st I'd always still pre-wash anyway, and um, you know, cotton does potentially have have. A, um, I don't know why I'm folding this whilst I'm recording, but there you go. It's a habit. Sorry about that. So that was the first one. Um, this one, I. Um, I somehow have under-ordered, um, that's my mistake, but they've got a metre of it. Now, you can see there from end to end, all of these fabrics are a lot narrower. Um, so these are probably more like a, just about a metre, I think. So I should have ordered more. Now, that was one of the curious things about ordering, ordering on this website, is you ordered in units, but you couldn't order more than one unit of what it showed, uh, or I, I couldn't. Um, so if, even if I wanted to click on three lots of the one unit, it didn't give me the option to get three meters, which is what's happened in this instance. But it's a beautiful color. It's um, it's sort of a, a light sage, and then it's got a brown speckle in it, which is just lovely. Um, and again, really, it's washed really well. This one, this one felt a little rougher when it arrived, um, but it's, it's, um, it's come together beautifully. Uh, this next one, I'm sure this wasn't the colour that was on the screen, and I say that in my little footage, but it's lovely nonetheless. Um, this is a, you're going to make a beautiful, simple summer dress, um, and it being cotton, um, I just want to show you, so it's sort of, uh, that's the wrong side, and obviously that's the right side. And again, uh, so I've got um, two metres of this one, so that's plenty enough to make a, a lovely dress. And it's beautiful and lightweight. Um, I don't wear yellow very often, so I'm not sure. What do you think? I'm not sure how that's going to go. Um, but they were, it was so reasonable. I'd say probably that was maybe four pounds, something like that. Um, in fact, all of these pieces were not any really any more than that. Um, probably my favourite is this iCat. Now this is pure iCat fabric, and again, it was I'm going to say no more than five pounds or so. Um, now I've seen some of this similar fabric in Merchant Mills for example um, and I love Merchant Mills, you know I've mentioned them a lot but um, that, yes, this versus the Merchant Mills, um, yeah, it's a very different uh, pricing scale there um, and this is super soft, sometimes I can't, I love that on there, look, um, sometimes I can't can be quite scratchy um, but this is just divine. And I was actually thinking of doing the um, Ravello, uh, sort of, it's a, a mid, mid length Ravello um, dress. I'll, I'll put the picture here somewhere, it's a stock photo. And Lisa describes it as a sort of a beach cover up. And I thought that would look absolutely super, um, or something like that. Or maybe a kimono style jacket. Um, 
but yeah, really lovely. And again, my husband would look really, really nice in a in a shirt made out of that one. So let let's see let's see what happens. Um, just a couple more to go. This one again, I bought with my husband in mind. Now I love grey. Well, I'm wearing grey today actually. Um, this is a um, a cotton poplin that I bought from Fabric Godmother many many moons ago. It's actually one of the first fabrics I ever bought. And this is the Alex shirt. Um, sorry, is yeah the Alex shirt dress um, hacked into a, I think you can make it in a blouse obviously um, but I made it sleeveless um, and in order to do that I had to take the arm side in a little and then I just bound it with bias binding. I really like the open neck of, uh, of the Alex shirt dress. Anyway back to this, um, this is just lovely so there's definitely three meters of this one. Um, let me just open it out a little bit more. Lovely drape, drape to it. Um, you can see there the light coming through, but it is it is opaque. Um, but yeah, definitely would make a lovely man shirt, which is my plan for that one. And then finally, the last one, which are now buried, buried under the boxes, is this one. Oh, again, another beautiful iCat um, fabric. iCat, iCat. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and this was interesting because I did order um, three and a half meters of this one but it's come in two increments. So that's just something to watch out for. Um, I have watched a, a story yesterday of a lady that ordered a lot more fabric. So perhaps it was just my choices that it came out that way. Uh, and most of the time you can cut different pieces, you know, cut different pieces from different amounts. Um, but this is stunning. Now I haven't washed this one yet, so it's still got that, um, so, well, pre-washed feel, Cara, <laughs> obviously, because you haven't washed it. Um, so it's just, it's still a, a little rougher, um, so I expect it'll come up as soft as the other eye cat. Um, I love this colour. And the reason I haven't washed it is because I know that I've got to wash this on, on its own. I have had fabric colour disasters recently, uh, as you may remember from the red Sophia dungarees. Sorry about your washing, Molly. It's now all pink. Um, so I need to wash it on my own, on its own. But um, <laughs> the thought of putting this in the washing machine on its own just does me in um, because yeah, that's just like a lot of resource for one piece of fabric, but I know it's the right thing to do. So there you go, that's the other the other fabrics. Um, so it's quite a short video for me today, but I did want to share with you um, the experience of this. Oh, the other thing I will say is it came with a beautiful note, which you saw uh, the, the clip of. And then these were sort of a, a gift, if you like, in the box. And at the time, I was a bit confused as to what they are. They're beautifully handcrafted. Look at that. It's just, oh, they're just lovely. Someone has put a lot of effort into these. And they are bookmarks, which is really, really sweet. Um, and yeah, I can definitely see me using those. Um, again, just, I, I love that. Overall, the experience is a really, really positive one, and I would definitely order from them again. Um, I, I shared, shared with you my experience because I, you know, what's the point of me doing these things if I'm not honest about what happens? But overall, what a lovely place to buy from! Fantastic value, um, coming all the way from India, and I love that in the DHL um, tracking, you can see that it's gone from wherever it started to Delhi, then Delhi to. Um, Nashville um, in you know Tennessee um, and then from there to somewhere else and then it just appeared um, but I had a text on the day to say it was coming that's extraordinary service and remember it was only 10 pounds for the delivery so absolutely loved it so that's it from me um, my next video will be the second part of my so over it um, ebook summer dreaming so um, I'll pop a card up here if you haven't seen the first part which where I made the Sorrento jacket and the Ravello dress um, and then the second part will be the Porto jumpsuit and the Sienna summer dress and both of those fabrics came from Dragonfly Fabrics which is very kind of them so I look forward to sharing that with you next week in the meantime stay safe and well I'd love to hear from you don't forget to leave me a comment and details down below of um, how you can buy me a coffee. Um, many thanks to those who have. Um, it genuinely is such a lovely experience. Um, and for the price of a cup of tea or coffee, um, tea, if we ever meet in person, please. I don't drink coffee, um, but it makes a really big difference to me um, and helps me to keep this channel um, ticking over. So thank you very much. Um, yeah, it, that's it for me. 
Um, and I will see you next week. Take care, everyone. Stay safe and well.